everybody welcome back to ed the impala guy channel we're back working on the car that started it all about eight nine months ago the uh, 2007 chevy impala that got uh hit while my wife was driving it um the goal for this car right now is to just get it mobile and uh, unfortunately there's going to be some challenges in doing just that um let me kind of take you on a tour uh, as to what has been going on with the car what I found was wrong with the car and the continuing damage that I'm continue you know, that I'm still finding uh, once I kind of get into this so anyhow um, if you go back to the first videos uh, I kind of give you a little bit of history on uh, what happened to this car it got hit right here in the in the driver's wheel uh, fender door area it pushed the wheel and everything back into the the a post and the the corner there uh, and as you can see that is bent in there and, and it's it's in it's in a, a good bit and what the telltale sign is is one is i couldn't when i went to fit a door on here um it wouldn't close it, it was too far this way and and it just wouldn't close and it also was bottoming out along the bottom rail there. And what I found is that this bottom piece here, especially in this corner, is pushed in probably about, you know, this much. And I went ahead and, and tore it apart down in here, and you can see that there's some buckling in there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I still haven't quite made up my mind as to the total disposition of this car. Uh, what I do have to do those. I do have to get it back on its tires and moving around the yard here. Um, it has been sitting on jack stands way too long. You can see the, the stuff that I have it on is kind of porous uh, MDO. And uh, the jack stands are kind of sinking into it. So here's what I've done so far. Is I've taken the old uh, lower control arm off. And you can see in the accident this was ripped off. Um, you can also see how oblong that uh, that bushing uh, hole is and, and it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be round the good news is is that the subframe did not take any damage the subframe is good um, it's straight but what I did get into when I was um, the uh, the tie rods were all bent and of course they were you know because it took quite an impact here so I started uh, messing around the other day with um, trying to change the uh, inner tie rods and the outer tie rods, and what I found was that uh, this whole steering rack is jacked. The bushing is broke. Um, when I, I had trouble getting this boot off, so I just figured since I had a new boot, I'd cut it off. And when I did, power steering fluid came pouring out of it. So this, this power steering rack is jacked. Um, so, since I have the um, power steering rack that came off the black car, and it still works, um, I'm going to put that in here just to, like I said, just to move it around the lot. So, that being said, I've had to take the sway bar off. Um, the way I have this jacked up here, I can't drop the subframe, so I'm going to have to get this thing out of here without dropping the subframe. Um, and without getting under the car as much as I can. Once we do that, once I have a uh, power steering rack that works, we're gonna get the car mobile again. Uh, I've got a ball joint that will go on this lower control arm. Uh, the new ones just bolt on. And uh, we'll put the uh, steering knuckles back on it. We'll put the wheel bearings uh, back into the bearing hubs. I've got the uh, ones that came off my wife's blue Impala. Um, they're bad, but they're serviceable. They actually, they actually turn. Um, and they're not buggered up. So I'm gonna stick those back on here. Um, we'll hook the brakes back up. We'll put um, the tires back on it, although uh, I'm gonna end up using uh, one of the spare tires that I have uh, for this front left. Um, that's gonna get this car kind of mobile. And then uh, once I get it mobile, I'm thinking about um, maybe trying to straighten this. And like I said, this car is never going to be sold. This car, the only person that's ever going to drive this car is me. So if I put it back on the road, it's only going to be me driving it. If I get in another accident with it and it's weak in this corner, I'm the only one that's going to be 
um, paying for that, so to speak. So this isn't, um, this is just going to be, you know, for, for me, if, if I do get it back on the road, I, I may not. Um, it may just end up being a parts car. I, I just really haven't decided. That is pushed in, you know, quite a bit. Um, it's not worth taking it to a frame shop. I don't know a frame shop that would really maybe even pull that out. Uh, they would probably want to replace the whole uh, structure there, uh, section the A-pillar and, and straighten that all out. And that's just way too expensive for this car. Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to continue to work on the, uh, the getting the power steering rack in here. And then we'll button up the front end and we'll get it down on its tires and able to... Um, to drive around the lot here and I, I can at least store it in the barn and get it out of the way um so that's the the update for now um we'll see how it goes it's not very much fun working out here in the yard um this car has been sitting for way too long so it's time to get it going and uh, get this thing on the move thanks and uh, we'll talk to you soon As you can see, I am filthy, absolutely filthy. But we do have the steering rack put in the car. Subframe is back up. I did have to drop the subframe um, to get the lines loose. Now I have to uh, get the steering shaft attached to the, um, the steering rack and we'll start buttoning things up. But that's going to be for another day because it's dinner time. And by the time I get cleaned up and eat dinner, I'm not going to feel like coming back out here. Um, just a couple things in case you're wondering. Yeah, you got to you got to strap the steering wheel so it doesn't move. Uh, one is it'll damage the clock spring. Two is that um, where your uh, your um, the pinch bolt fits on the uh, steering uh, the shaft of the uh, steering rack. Um, they have to be lined up and they have to be kind of centered um, with the car going straight. So you center the rack by going full stop to full stop and then backing it halfway in between. And then uh, it should match up with the, um, the steering shaft um, as long as you keep the steering wheel in a straight position and the clock spring in a straight position. Anyhow... Uh, as you can see, it's not much fun working out here in, in the yard. Um, not very comfortable laying on that. But we got it done. Um, that actually was probably the, the hard part. Um, next, we'll put on the um, ball joint and the knuckles and, and get the, the suspension tied back up here so we can get it off the jack stands and on the tires. And then we can uh, maybe see about... Uh, straightening this uh, a pillar out in this corner of the car right here anyhow folks thanks for stopping in um this is probably gonna be a fairly short video and uh we'll pick it up with the suspension work after i get this all buttoned up but uh, until then thanks for subscribing uh if you subscribed if not go ahead and click the subscribe button this is going to be a another one of the projects we also have a uh, another project car coming um i thought i was going to reveal it today but um things didn't work out that that well so um it will be probably within the next week we'll let you know and geez somebody guessed oh it must be an impala well you know this isn't the the equinox guy channel so yeah it's probably an impala but what exactly is wrong with it and uh, where i got it from um is a little bit different so um we will uh, delve into that car here in the next week or so in the meantime crash is getting some love uh but the more I uh, actually look at this car, ooh, hang on, we're gonna go in the garage real quick and I'm gonna show you the old steering rack and just how broken it was. So hopefully this will um, kind of show you. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. That's all broken away there. Um, that happened in the impact. 
Um, so, I mean, this thing is totally shot. Now, that being said, the one that I did put in it was the broken one from the black Copark car, so that one's not going to stay in there permanently if we ever uh, get this thing back in a running condition where it's on the road. Um, we'll have to replace it, but for uh, running it around the property here, it's going to be good enough, and um, right now, good enough is good enough. So anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Uh, click the subscribe button, and uh, click the like button if you're so inclined. Click the dislike button if you're so inclined. Leave a comment, tell me uh, what you think, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.